Hi guys, I am back with kind of a weird video. Um, this is a plea to anybody who watches my video. I need your help. So here's the story. I have an Erin Condren horizontal planner right now. Um, right here, getting very thick, but that's beyond the point. I have decided for next year to get an Erin Condren vertical planner. That part of my life is settled. In addition to that, I also have a, um, a memory keeping planner. Uh, it is a personal planner with uh, inserts that I do like memory keeping spreads. It's really cute. I really, really love it. This is something I'm going to continue for next year. So the last thing that I have as a planner, actually I have one more thing, but it's, it's very like one thing specific. It's a moving planner, but I have a work planner. It's not anything here. It's actually at work. I don't usually take it home, but it's an hourly planner. And I basically use um, the sidebar for a running to-do list of everything I need to do that day. On each individual day, I have um, two checklists, one at the top and one at the bottom. I have stickers that I use to mark when I arrive and leave work. And then in the middle, I just write what I do each hour. I got the hourly because I thought it would make more sense for work because I want to track what I do. But honestly, it's not working for me. Um, instead of planning out my day, I basically back plan. You know, when I finish something, I'll write it in and put when I finished it. And that's not useful for me because it means that I'm not using my planner for what I actually need. So I evaluated what I liked from the planner. And those things were having a view of the month at a glance. I really like that. I liked having a to-do list, um, whether it be the monthly one that I didn't use often, but also having um, a to-do list on every single day. And I liked that I could put when I had certain events or things. So right now I am narrowing down to two choices for planning. The one that I'm currently leaning towards is the inserts. So I'm going to do that last, but let's start with this. So this is a Michaels Recollections Planner. Um, I actually really like these, and if you are looking for something like the Erin Condren but can't afford one, this isn't terrible. Its dimensions all work perfectly, so that is nice. Um, so you can use Erin Condren stickers in it. So what I did was I made up like a mock kit. Let me find the page I did it on. I should have probably marked this. Mm, give me a second. There it is. So I did a quick mock-up of what I would use it for. So over here on the sidebar, I have month at a glance, two habit trackers, which are important to me, a this week sticker that I'm not sure what I use for, and a to-do list. I would probably in the end have like two to-do lists. I really, really need the to-do list across on every day, but then this is where I kind of stopped. Um, I tried to be like, maybe I'll put the little things as you can't really see that yellow, but let me zoom you in. So I would use the little things as like who I emailed or called that day. And then I'm like, that's really dumb. I have a phone log. I can look through my emails. Or I was like, maybe I'll use it for, you know, who I talk to, like who I need to talk to. But then I'm like, I'll just put that on a to-do list. And then I put my arrived and left stickers in today. And I'm like, in the middle, I'll write when I have things. But honestly, I don't have that many things I need to do. I don't know if next next year might be a little different because my job is going to change a teensy bit but I'm not sure if it'll change all that much so I I was kind of looking at this and thinking all right it's a little too much space I don't have this many plans for work because a lot of it is of course that running to-do list that the, the to-do list is more of something I put ahead of time um and then when it comes to like the actual work day, I obviously have more things that come up, but I write them on a sticky note. The things that are really important is to be able to know what's coming up and when I'm busy and when I'm not. So today, um, I actually came up with another idea and that was to use inserts. So this is my personal planner. Um, this is where I do my rewind spreads. First of all, I really like the planner itself. I've beat it up so much. So when I first bought it, like it would like naturally close, but I've beat the spine so much that it lays flat. So I would probably use this planner for work. So like when I open it up, it's just open. I really like how small it is. Very nice for that. Um, so this is what a normal so much crafting insert looks like. Blank. Um, 
and it's it's basically a blank canvas to work with so let me show you I just finished doing a rewind plan with me and I took all the leftover stickers and I use them here so let me zoom you in and show you how this would work so over here on the side I would put my work schedule of when I come and leave work those two habit trackers every day has the to-do list it needs and then I have some extras I just use little things but they don't really to matter too much um, oh, I wonder what I meant these to mark I don't know what this one marks um, I'm not sure but I know on Tuesday this is to mark that I had someone um, I had someone visit my office and I sent out a mass email um, Wednesday I had a um, important fundraiser lunch and I needed to send a check to somewhere for work Thursday I've got a big webinar Friday the office is closed and Saturday and Sunday I have the day off so uh, the little things are working there isn't a lot of space to write in those which is a little frustrating because what if I need more room that's my big concern with this what if I need more room for things I do know that in addition to getting these inserts I would get also the monthly inserts that would be just more to mark things that are coming up that I might have to attend and there is there isn't really room for a running checklist on there so I would probably also get the inserts from so much crafting that are just like checklists so I don't know I, I feel uncomfortable with this because what if I run out of room is what I'm saying now I also want to talk about the fact that I did start the year with having a um, not a personal planner the one size above that plan oh here I have it here huh, fun um, this size planner uh, I don't know this is a Michaels planner but right now it's my moving planner as I work towards some things but um, I didn't like it I first didn't like this specific planner because I didn't like the way it laid down but I didn't like the inserts I found for it and I it felt a little big and clunky so I like the size of the um, personal planner and I like the personal planner I do have like the physical planner which is good but I'm really concerned that my inserts would be too small so the point of this video is me putting it out there to you guys do you have any ideas I'm really 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 struggling with this part of my planning what I would do stickers aren't the issue if I need like checklist stickers and things like that I can make them for myself and it's it's not an issue I would obviously not make them like cutesy like the stickers I use in my personal planner or like my Erin Condren planner but I would make something that works um, just like the why do I not mark why didn't I mark this just like the stickers that I was testing out in this planner oh. so um just like I, I made these stickers for myself just as like a quick like try out some stuff and it's not a big deal um, I have my I, I make stickers for myself all the time I just want feedback from you guys if you use a different planner for work let me know I really don't need to track something like an hourly but I need something that allows me to have a monthly view that's important something that allows me to have a to-do list on every day and something that also allows me to have like a running to-do list of things I'm working on like projects I'm working on so if you know of anything please let me know uh, put me in any direction I am willing to spend money like good money if it's something that works for me because it's really important for me to be organized especially for work because I am a very work centered person so other than that thank you so much for watching and I would appreciate any feedback at all even if it's telling me things that haven't worked for you but other than that I will see you in my next video or or hopefully I'll see you in the comments please 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 help me out guys bye